going on, boxing fans? Doing well, you too. This is got a video for you guys. This is a prediction for the upcoming battle between Cedric Boswell and Alexander Povetkin for the WBA regular heavyweight championship. The battle takes place on December 3rd. Um, it's going to be on Epix um, in the United States. Um, most people don't even have it. I know I sure as hell don't, so I'll stream the damn thing. So, anyway, let's get into the fight. Alexander Povetkin coming off of a victory over Ruslan Shigaev. A um, unanimous decision victory um, to um, win the WBA regular championship. The the um, super champion is Vladimir Klitschko. I think it's like super champion that he has. The one that he won from David Hay. I think they gave him like super champion status due to the fact that he do does hold other belts and he's pretty much the um, reigning king at heavyweight. Though many say we have a two-headed monster at the heavyweight division. So... But Alexander Povetkin, um, Klitschko's tried to fight him for the last couple of years. He's been his mandatory for the IBF crown. But he's just never faced him. Um, Tay Atlas says he's not ready yet. Um, the first time was like was supposed to be like a foot injury. It was supposed to be December 5th of 2008. Um, it was a foot injury that, you know, got that um took him out of the bout. And then, you know, after then, you know, from then on, you know, he's been pretty much ducking and dodging. And you can really say he legitimately ducked. Klitschko at this point, or his trainer ducked him for him, um, and, I, and I like Teddy Atlas, but I just think that he sh that um, Povetkin should should try to face Klitschko. He's like 32, 33 years old, you know, and you know he's not getting any younger. He's just not winning the belt, so he might. So the fight, you know, pretty much has to happen eventually, you know, not to be in this development hell stage like Klitschko versus Hey. You know, there should be an agreement for this fight, but hey. You know, Teddy Atlas says he's not ready. I guess he's not ready, but he's ready to fight for, you know, a regular championship. So he's coming against Cedric Boswell. Cedric Boswell is a fighter that's been around since, since probably since the time I was like in junior high elementary school. He's, you know, he's quite old. He's about 42. He has, you know, you know, he has, you know, quick reflexes, quick hands. He pretty much stands in front of his opponents. Um, very, um, very slippery in the ring. Um, he's taking on fighters that were pretty much at the end of, at the end of their careers, but holds a really good victory over Roman Greenberg when he knocked him out in two rounds. So, in this fight, um, for for Cedric Boswell, Cedric Boswell actually wants to touch Povetkin. Alexander Povetkin does not like to be touched. Um, he's a fighter that seems to just not he just does not like to be hit. He pulls back quite a bit and he pulls straight back. Um, when he's not even thinking about it, he pulls straight back. But the main objective in this fight is to go to the, is mainly the um, get inside and go to the body and, and attack Povetkin. He has to slip underneath his jab. Boswell does a good job of slipping underneath the fire's jab, cowering over the jab with the right hand. So he's going to have to make, you know, he's going to have to um, pretty much be elusive. Um, try to um, give um, Povetkin like a moving target to um, try to throw towards and come, come over the top with the right hand. Come over the top with the right hand, and after he falls up with the, I mean, after he comes over the top with the right hand, he has to go go down to the body, go downstairs, and um, pretty much he has to touch Povetkin. Um, that's pretty much his main objective. He wants to touch Povetkin, and there are times that Povetkin does get hit, but he's not one of those fighters that likes to get in, you know, you know, tough exchanges, um, like most, you know, like most European, like most European heavyweights. Um, a lot of European heavyweights, if you look at um. If you look at, at um, a lot of the European heavyweights, the ones that have went on to you know be elite fighters, just have not liked to be touched. Um, and Povetkin is a fighter that, does, that just doesn't want to be touched. Doesn't like be doesn't like people touching him. So he has to be able to get inside, go to the body. Um, not not necessarily you know get the head on, on the chest, but you know kind of you know fight in spurts. Um, look for and also look you know look to um, throw a few up jabs. You know, a few up jabs underneath um, Povetkin's jab. Like the main objective is he has to get underneath Alexander Povetkin's jab and counter him and, and touch him. That's pretty much the main objective for Cedric Boswell in this fight. He's quick, he's elusive, and he can actually pull pull it off if he can slip underneath Povetkin's jab. If he can counter Povetkin um, consistently throughout the fight. If he can get inside. If he can get his foot, you know, inside of um, Povetkin's lead foot. If he can land the counter right hand. Um, and if he can neutralize Povetkin's attack, 
um, then pretty much I think Boswell could, could actually win this fight if he can do that. Alexander Povetkin in this fight, you know, we all, you know, if you've seen Alexander Povetkin fight, Alexander Povetkin likes to fight behind the jab. He fights behind the jab, um, and he starts to kind of build the momentum, you know, throughout the fight. He'll, th he'll kind of build the momentum, you know, he'll, you know, in the first round when he fills out his opponent, you know, he comes in, you know, he'll throw a few jabs, you know, sneak in a few right hands, and after he sneaks in a few right hands, you know, that's, and um, he's, and he's comfortable in the ring. Then you know, he builds his rhythm. He builds a rhythm to where he builds a he builds a rhythm to where he starts firing off three punch combinations, occasionally a four punch combination, and he comes right back out. When he you know when he throws his punches, he's very disciplined. His hands are right back into position to, to protect himself right after he throws. He's always you know he's always protecting himself. Um, he's always protecting himself. He's very disciplined, um, and. And um, but he like, but anyway, he likes to work behind the jab. He works behind the jab. And this fight against against Cedric Boswell, a fighter who does kind of um use like a shoulder roll, who uses a shoulder roll and stands in front of his opponent. What Povetkin wants to do in this fight, he's gonna have to beat him to the jab. Um, a fighter like a Cedric Boswell cannot really protect himself from the jab, just just um by looking at the way his hands are positioned and the way that he stands. You can just tell that he he more than likely does not cannot protect himself from a stiff jab, a good stiff jab. And in this fight, I think Povetkin needs to come forward and pressure him with the jab, pressure pressure him with the jab and drop a right hand, um, right down the middle, right down the pipe, drop the drop the right hand. Um, I think that in this fight, Povetkin wants to actually come forward in this fight. <laughs> he wants to come forward. He and um he wants to come forward behind the jab. I think the jab is that main weapon for Povetkin in this fight. The jab, this that stiff that stiff left jab, stiff left jab, straight right hand. Um, throw a few combos in there. Um, go to the body. You know, actually try to wear um, Boswell down. He has good hand speed. He um he can create you know some awkward um, positions in the ring to for a fire to throw from. But early in the fight, you know, he wants to go to the body, you know, go to the body so that you know he has no momentum, you know, later in the fight. And just pretty much, it's it's just a simple ABC one two three fight for Pavekin. Um, you know, simple simple. Um, just throwing a lot of jabs, a lot of dropping down, a lot of right hands. Um, and also since he has you know fast hands, he's gonna have to clinch inside so that Boswell doesn't you know get any rhythm. In the fight, he's gonna have to clinch him inside, and pretty much it's just a simple fight for him. I think. I think it's a simple fight. It should be a simple fight. Use the height to his advantage in this one. You know, because he, he stands straight up. Boswell doesn't stand straight up, so he's gonna have to make Boswell fight. You know, up to you know his level, up to his height. So, who I think is gonna win this fight? Um, with it being simply said. Me saying that it should be an ABC one two three fight. I'm gonna go with Alexander Povetkin by decision in this fight. Um, I just think that that um, he has a lot more in the tank compared to Boswell. I know that Boswell, being a veteran, is gonna have a lot of tricks in there for for Alexander Povetkin. But Povetkin's been in the ring with better fighters, um, and I think he is you know getting getting a bit better. And and also even though Boswell has some good hand speed. You know, has good hand speed and very elusive. I think he's gonna have trouble against an opponent who will against an opponent who's taller than him and pretty much could probably neutralize that speed because Povetkin does have good timing. So I'm gonna go with Alexander Povetkin. So anyway, peeps, I'm out of here. That was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.